Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales, and today we're doing something different. I say that all the time, but I promise this time it's something a little different. So, uh, one of the tenets of this show is we take a look at a lot of uh, Atlanta and Georgia based liqueurs, liquor, beer, stuff like that. So we thought today we'd, uh, I guess, go through a list of some others that we haven't featured on here yet. Put together like a guide, as yeah. it were, yeah. of what you can find here. Of course, as you can see with the bottles that we have here now, we have a couple that we've reviewed before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I guess we can briefly talk about them. You can name some others that are around. And I'm actually going to make a drink with that I will, so I'm going to make a drink. Mm -hmm. It's going to exclusively only use spirits based out of Georgia. Okay. So, you know, you guys will, can look at this and if you plan on visiting, maybe you pick some of these up and experience for yourself. Right. So first up is one that I had never even heard of because I've never seen their stuff in the liquor store, or at least I don't think I have, but it's called uh, Lazy Guy Whiskey. And they're based out in Kennesaw, Georgia. Um, they do uh, distillery tours. Uh, and uh, their distillery is actually based around a lot of buildings that um, have historical value as far as the Civil War is concerned. And um, like I said, they do distillery tours. <clears throat> their stuff is sold locally. And they also uh, do cocktail uh, mixers and creations and things like that, I believe on the weekend. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to check them out because looking at some of their stuff and looking at the cocktails that they come up with, mm -hmm. looks like it's uh, pretty good. Next on the list, one that we, we haven't talked about very much. I think we've had one thing that, yes, we have had one thing that they make on here. And I'm referring to uh, Old Fourth Distillery on Edgewood Avenue. Established in 2014, um, the dart. Yeah, long dart was the the ginger liqueur that we had. It was a lemon ginger lemon liqueur. Lemon ginger liqueur. Yeah, that we had from them. Um, they're probably the most, I would say, famous. So to one speak. of the most. One of the most coming out of Atlanta. Um, I remember when they were first starting up, they were all over the news. And watching them, seeing their rise, uh, you know, so to speak, to become one of the premier liquor providers mm -hmm. uh, in the state of Georgia. Um, they have really good stuff. They do gin, vodkas. Uh, do they do rum? I think they do rum. I don't think they do rum. I know they, they do, do gin do and whiskey. Vodka. Yeah, whiskey. They do gin, vodka, and whiskey. And of course, they, they're always experimenting with stuff like the Lawn Dart, um, which we we thought was pretty good. Um, I remember tasting that in particular. It didn't taste the way we thought it was going to taste. It, it, it was still tasty. Yeah, it was still tasty, but it, it, it threw a curveball at us, and we enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Next up, have you ever heard of a Richmond, a Richland rum? No. Yes, you have. You would know it when you see it. We we always see it. You would know the label. We always see it. We just never thought to pick it up. I never knew that it came out of uh, Georgia, particularly Richland, Georgia. Um, they are all about rum. R Richland, Dis Richland Distilling Company is all about rum. Uh, their rum, uh, supposedly in the area in Richland, Georgia, is like prime for making rum and so you're getting it from them fresh from farm okay. fresh ingredients things of that nature um i've always seen it on the shelf always been curious about it but i never never read up on it 
Never even knew it was made in Georgia. I didn't even know there was a Richland, Georgia, but you know. Now I have to take a look at it and uh, have a taste and see what they're working with. Uh, what, are, what are we doing here? So, like I said, I'm making a drink mm -hmm. that exclusively uses liquor and spirits from Georgia. Okay. And I decided to pull out Simple Man Distilleries, mm -hmm. their Gullah Geechee Gin. Mm -hmm. We had good things to say about that when we reviewed it not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And Blended Family Distilleries Peach Liqueur. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to do a concoction with that, with that combination. Okay. Um, what about these? Are you using these? No, I'm not. I, they're just there to, you know, showcase some more spirits in Well, Georgia. since you're, um, not using them, we can talk about them. Let's first, uh, talk about, uh, Majesty. Mm -hmm. Georgia Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Distilled from grain. Uh, Majesty's pretty new. I believe they're about a year or so old. Mm -hmm. Maybe two years. About two years. Um... Coming straight out of Atlanta. Uh, I believe they're Kennesaw as well. Oh, they are? If I remember correctly. Hold yeah, on. Kennesaw. Kennesaw, yeah. Georgia. Oh, wait. Distilled by Lazy Guy Distillery. Out of Kennesaw, Georgia. So we have had some of Lazy Guy Distillery mm -hmm. stuff. I can't believe we didn't see that before. But, um, but well, at least we know they make good product. Because mm -hmm. uh, Majesty is... Pretty tasty. <laughs> so before you continue, I'm gonna shake this up. Mm -hmm. uh, another more recent one that we discussed is uh Gold is Ghost Coast. Mm -hmm. I keep wanting to call it Gold Coast. Um but this is coming out of Savannah. And this is their tiki spiced rum. Um, they do a lot of other stuff. They do whiskey as well. I believe they do. They do whiskey. They do rum. They have a gin. Mm -hmm. They they do uh, they do I believe vodka. Mm -hmm. They have some liqueurs as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they don't they call it I believe uh, um agave spirit or something like that i may oh, wow. be wrong on that but it's t from my assertion it's technically tequila okay so you know i could be wrong mm -hmm. so the drink is done go go ghost coast has a lot going on um and someday we will go down to savannah and we will take a tour of their place because it sounds like they are doing a lot of interesting things down there yeah, so the drink is done. Okay. And I used Simple Man Distillery's Gullah Geechee Gin, mm -hmm. which I stated before, mm -hmm. and Blended Family's Number Four Peach. I'm surprised he just didn't do a huge concoction of things. So, um, I wanted to go simple is better. Mm -hmm. I used uh, three fourths an ounce, mm -hmm. two ounces, because mm -hmm. you need to feel this. Mm -hmm. Um. Lime juice, mm -hmm. juice of half a lime or a whole lime, mm -hmm. you know, depending. This lime was kind of, you know, I hate to go on a rant here, but I hate when I'm shopping for limes for my drinks mm -hmm. and then I get one of those big limes, but they're hard, so you can't really get yeah. much juice out of them mm -hmm. and it just kind of ruins the whole thing for me. Mm -hmm. Um, And I also used cinnamon simple syrup. Okay. So this should be something unique. See what we got. Mm. Pretty tasty. Sweet yet sharp. Blended family mellows out the um, Gullah Geechee, and they blend very well. Well, peach and hibiscus 
and cinnamon mm-hmm. go really well together. Yeah, I have, I, get, I have the cinnamon in here as well. That's, this is really good. <laughs> so what do we call this thing? Hell, I know. Um, I'll leave it to you guys because I have no idea what to call this except really good For you guys to decide maybe the companies in which we used to make this drink have any ideas yeah blended family simple man let us know we would love to know what you would call this drink mm-hmm. it's a collaboration of you guys mm-hmm. you just didn't know it till today <laughs> um, do we have any more to discuss do you want to point out a couple of more or I actually think I'm gonna leave it for there Let's make this a recurring segment. Okay. We'll make Georgia-based drinks. Mm-hmm. We'll make this a series. Okay. We'll make Georgia-based drinks. And we'll discuss other distilleries and stuff like that in Georgia. Mm-hmm. And that you know what? Me. When we do these drinks, we'll tag the companies that we use in the drink. And we'll have them come up with a name for it. See how I did that on the fly? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just like I made that up on the fly. But I also knew what my flavors were so I could blend those flavors. That'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content that's coming to the channel. Also check us out on Instagram and check us out on Twitter. And yes, everything we did here was Georgia based today. Mm-hmm. But... We know that we have viewers that extend outside of the state. Mm -hmm. And And even the country. And what do we say to those people? If you have a spirit of wine, beer, liquor, liqueur, whatever it is, a snack maybe, some type of tasty dessert, Mm -hmm. let us know about it. Talk to us about it. Hit us up in our DMs. Perhaps you can send it to us or point us in the direction where to find it. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, a lot of these obscure or underappreciated snacks and drinks Mm -hmm. may not be obtainable to us so easily. Right, right, right. And, you know, also, we we also leave the state. Mm -hmm. So, if there's any places that you think we should go, whether it be a restaurant, a food truck, uh, a distillery, Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Uh, the Shake Shack something and you think it's delicious and you think we should go to it let us know hand us the suggestion in our DMs or whatever or in or in the comments of any of our videos or any of our posts on Twitter and fate and uh, Instagram we'll we'll catalog them and we'll try to make it happen we got a lot of time on our hands the cold COVID COVID makes idle hands of uh of, of people mm-hmm. so even though there's a vaccine out there it's a little bit that yeah yeah that also too while we're talking about it we mentioned it last time but while we're talking about it like if you can go ahead and get that vaccine mm-hmm. like we're we're, we're we're this close to being free guys exactly. we're, we're this close and i know all of y'all want to get back to bars and stuff it, exactly wearing a mask Ex- and exactly like that, so. what fun is it for us to do all this traveling and go to all those places you suggest if we can't even see y'all when we get there. Mm-hmm. Well, well, what's the point? Mm-hmm. We might as well stay here. <laughs> I don't want to stay in the house. So. <laughs> go get that shot. 
That'll do it for this episode, and until next time, peace.